Whisper. Hello, I'm Nate Sestina. I'm a senior on the men's basketball team, and my major is geography. My hometown of Fort PA, I would say we're kind of close off from the rest of the world, where this tiny little town of 1,900 people tucked up in the woods of PA, Emporium is its own little distinct place, but it's really special. And if, if you've never been there, it's really hard to describe it. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows your birthday. They know your family. They know everything about you. And I think that that's what is so like, kind of funny about me is like I'm the same way. Yeah, I think it kind of shows that it doesn't matter where you're from, you can still make it. The last guy to play Division One basketball from the point is in like the 70s. Coming from that 1,900 people where you playing in front of 500 people in high school, playing in front of 4,000 people here, it's a little bit of a culture shock as well. But it also makes me appreciate basketball. It makes me appreciate my family more than anything. Now I'm the youngest of five, so we really had a competitive household. They're my favorite people in the world, and, and we're really, really close. And I think that being from where I am and having the family that I do, it's kind of kept me in check everywhere I go. When I was in fourth grade, my brother Jason graduated high school, and he had decided he wanted to go to the Marines. And in the middle of his junior year of college, he got deployed. Ever since then, I've kind of just, as a guy, I get toughened up at like 13 years old. I think about it, I'm like, when he was 21 years old, he was in Afghanistan. Like, I wake up, I'm like, man, I don't want to go to class today, or I don't want to practice today. And he woke up and was like, I, I hope I make it through today. With my brother Andrew, I think that Jason serving propelled him into that. With him being a leader of 150 guys right now, I think that that's helped me with my leadership role. You have to be upbeat, but you have to, he always says you have to correct your boots. You have to promote them, but then you have to be able to bring them back down to earth. And I think that that's something that I've kind of carried with me through my entire life with Jason, but especially with Andrew in the last couple of years. The guys now, like, I understand as a leader, like, you have to be able to show what you're doing, but then you have to be able to talk through it. I feel like I've done a better job of it this year, learning from Nana last year, and carrying that over, and just being able to talk through it, being able to explain what we're doing, being able to walk through and talk through rotations, and, like, where to be, knowing the plays and all that stuff. He's been really for four years one of the hardest workers, and, and now this guy that's kind of focused on this being one of your better players, this hard play guys that aren't playing as much to, to not work as hard as he is. Everybody always asks me, like, oh, like, you could have played somewhere else and been the guy or whatever instead of playing behind non exact but I think that playing behind those two guys has been the best thing for me. It brought me back to reality when coming from being the first team All-State guy in high school to coming here not playing. It's a culture shock. I was really hurt. And I talked to Nana about my freshman year, and I was like, no, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. And he, like, pinned me against the wall. He's like, don't ever say that. He's like, you're better than everybody on this team, so you just don't know yet. People always look at the, the finish play and the point score, and what you don't see is, is part of the reason why some of the guys were so good was the guys were pushing him, and he was a big part of that. If not an exact majority of the players, he would embarrass him. And I thought he took a lot of pride in that. What we needed a game to step up. Um, everyone talks about the, the championship game at Michigan State, but I can think back to the beginning of last year when we played for my home. We made three really big plays at the end of that game, and we need him. So we always have a lot of confidence in him, and he's been a big part of it we've done so far. He really came out and said it in front of everybody. He's like, I know that me and Zach were a little nervous when you were on the team. He's like, you're gunning for our minutes. He's like, so we did our best to always be the top of our game because if we slipped up, then we knew we weren't going to play. And I think that that's really helped me out mentally, and especially my senior year. Like, I have to be that guy so that I can, like, pass that on to the next guy. Nate Cessina, the go-to guy for Bucknell this year, leading the squad in points and rebounds. Second half of this one between the Bison and the